This is the last part of our quick Copilot for Sales uh, demo. In this case, I'll quickly show you where to get started with configuration and setup. So the first thing to note, if you're used to doing configuration in the Power Platform Admin Center, that's the wrong place to go, at least for now. Um, for now, you would go into configuring Copilot for Sales directly within Teams. And the thing to note is that you do need to have a Teams administrator account. And so I'm logged in as an admin account right now. Whereas if I was logged in as my normal account, I might not have the correct permissions um, to see everything, uh, but I'm gonna stay logged in as my admin account so that I can show you all the setup options. So the first one is just basically allowing you to turn it on and to specify if it's available for the entire organization or particular security groups. Uh, the next one is talking about collaboration spaces between um, Outlook and Teams, uh, along with Planner. Uh, so that's also turned on. Then the last one is um, basically giving permissions to turn uh, to show meetings and AI generated sent sentiment and summaries for uh, participants and new preview features. Um, so those are all just kind of basic things you can turn on or turn off. But the real important stuff is these last two, uh, this one allowing us to save attachments or not. Like if your attachments, if your database is getting bloated and people are saving too many attachments, you might wanna turn that off. Um, however, I know attachments for many organizations are the lifeblood of how you do work. So you might need to have it turned on. Um, so that's one thing and that applies to emails or meetings or both. And then at the bottom, um, uh, this is talking about AI meeting notes uh, that uh, can be put into Teams uh, for appointments or a specified object. The real important thing comes uh, down under the forms configuration, and this is where you can add additional uh, record types. So for example, if you wanted to add the ability to interact with cases, or say you're doing something with projects, if you have project operations or opportunities, you could add additional record types that you would have visibility to um, directly from here. So I'm gonna go, uh, if I add an incident, some of you might know that's like the case or the trouble ticketing system, I can add that in. And this tells you then which relationship to use when you're adding that. Uh, I'm not going to go into explaining the relationships at this moment, but I'm going to just go ahead and say I want to use the customer ID relationship as my key. Um, and then it'll allow you to select a view. I'm going to pick active cases. And where the view comes in, I'll show you in just a second. Uh, and so I'm going to go ahead and add that. And then it gives you the ability to uh, create records from directly from within Copilot. Uh, or to link over to Dynamics and to be able to edit the record directly in Copilot for Sales. So in the first video I did in this series that showed the Outlook interface, you could see that I could edit a contact record. That was because this was checked for the contact record. And then as far as the view goes, remember when we first started Active Cases, that sets this up so that you can see these fields come from that view in this order. So if things are out of order or things are out of sorts, you might wanna change the view, republish that. Um, you'll notice that there's the ability to set certain things required. Other times you cannot change, like I can't take these things off because they're all required from the view. Um, I could also, you can see I can't make them uh, required or not from here as well. Um, the other thing I could add is underneath the record, and I don't know if you saw this on my first uh, piece, I'll, I'll go back and show it to you. Um, you can set uh, additional two additional pieces of information that show up underneath the, the record. So let me go ahead and just cancel this for now. Um, there's also a special situation on the contact record. You don't get to choose the view the contact record comes from. Um, for some reason, that was something Microsoft needed to set, but you can come and turn on or turn off things. You can add additional fields here on the contact record. 
And in this case, you could even sort directly from here. It would be nice if all of the views allowed this, um, but for now it's not. Um, and you can notice here on the contact, uh, I've allowed to create the record inside of Copilot for sales, add a link and allow editing directly, keeping that idea that I wanna keep my users directly in Outlook. I've added whatever fields I want, and this applies to both standard out of the box fields or custom fields. And then I added underneath the contact record, and I'll show you where in Outlook this shows up, the job title and company name. So now quickly going back over to um, Outlook, just so that you can see how that shows up. Um, on the first video, I showed Anton here. Let me move my image over. And um, you can see if I wanted to add Anton, I can add as a contact or a lead. And if I add as a contact, come on, there we go. Um, I can add it directly here as opposed to having to go over into Dynamics. So that was one of the options. Uh, in this case, I've added Anton. Um, let me go back and show you like an existing contact. You can see the technical project manager job title, uh, or like on Roberts here, director of IT Global, that was an, that option, those two values that I set, job title and company name, so that you'll have that visibility right here. Also, the other two options where I can copy the link, that was one of the first options, and the second option was open directly in Dynamics. Uh, and obviously the third was if I wanted to click on it, I could then directly edit it from within Outlook. So it's quite easy to add uh, some configuration. You can see I've added uh, contacts, accounts, and leads. If I quickly added, uh, say, opportunities or cases or anything else, it would just show up on this list here, uh, allowing me to directly create those uh, objects or records directly from my Outlook experience. So a very, very quick walkthrough of the configuration ability within Copilot for Sales. I hope that was helpful.